Yo, so today I'm going to take you through what I call the 4 am And this is going to be a way to empower you as you pursue your goals for 2024. So I know what you're asking, right? <laughs> what the heck is a 4 am Well, that's the name for when I chose to wake up every other Saturday in the early morning to participate in deep, focused, and intentional study sessions for about four to five hours. You know, during this time, everyone is asleep. The place is so quiet and still. There's no priorities or obligations, and I can go all into pouring myself into a meaningful session of cloud personal development. That includes activities like working on projects, completing a technical blog documentation, or just strategizing for the future. Before EM, I was born during my journey transitioning from a pro athlete to cloud engineer. You know, I was struggling with the responsibilities of being a pro athlete who also worked a day job while pursuing the goal of becoming a cloud engineer, also enrolled in a boot camp, including the responsibilities of being a husband. I felt I never had enough time during a 24 hour day to put into developing my cloud skills and managing everything else. And as I pursued this goal, my day job during the week became a real burden and distraction as it took away precious time I could put into my study sessions. I would be so eager to get home to spend the little amount of time I had left in the night to work on what I was passionate about. The weekends were where my day job couldn't distract me anymore. This is when I could really put in long hours into this goal. However, this meant sacrificing time with family, friends, or even being able to do the activities that I loved. It was a hustle culture every day of the week which led to burnout that affected my mental and physical health. I needed a strategy that could allocate time for deep focused studies, which didn't sacrifice precious time with loved ones or activities I wanted to do. So I thought, how about I wake up at 4 a.m. on a Saturday? At 4 a.m., no one is up to talk to me or distract me. No one is emailing me or sending me messages. The world is still asleep, and for four hours, I'll be able to do deep, focused work. I remember doing it one time, and it just stuck with me because I realized how much I was able to achieve in four hours of focused, intentional efforts. What's crazy is even my wife joined me a couple Saturdays after seeing how much I was able to accomplish. So it doesn't have to be a time of isolation by yourself. You can do the 4 a.m. with your loved ones or friends. You can be the one to motivate others in your circle to participate in the 4 a.m. as a way to keep each other accountable and empower each other towards each other's goals. You know, during the 4 a.m. you also take breaks. You're not working for the whole four to five hours. You know, that would just also lead to burnout, right? So, you know, you can check your phone, you can relax, just make sure you don't sleep, right? <laughs> so this is a perfect time to break. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to like it and definitely subscribe to Rex Tech. All right, back to the 4 a.m. But I can tell you, ever since I started the 4 a.m., I've been able to accomplish some things within record time. For instance, usually it takes me about an average of just over a month for me to complete the technical documentation of a technical project I did. But with the 4 a.m., it takes me around two weeks to three weeks, depending on how much I focus on it. I've also utilized it to double in down as I prepare for certifications. Just last week, I passed the AWS DevOps Engineer Professional Exam, which is the beast of an exam. It was only possible after doing four back-to-back 4 a.m.ers, which condensed my estimated time of over two months prep time to about five weeks, cutting it just about a half. I also got to see the sun rise, which served as like a reward that I was able to do deep focused hard work for four hours and still get to go back to sleep. And when I wake up, I feel refreshed and accomplished having honored my goals by dedicating the time needed to make the progress while still being able to rest. The best part is when I wake up, I still have a full day ahead of me to be present with my family or friends and not feel exhausted as I might have if I pulled an all-nighter. So on a typical day after the 4 a.m., I usually eat, but this particular day I was fasting till 12, so I didn't expect to eat until after I woke up.
so right now I have basically the whole day ahead of me to relax, chill out with them. Today I'll be going on the road with my wife. First thing on the list is to get a haircut because your boy's looking rough. With the four a.m. where you can step out of just the hustle life that depends on coffee or monsters or Red Bulls just to be able to keep up with life. The 4 a.m. where it helps you do what you're really dedicated to do while still being able to take care of your mental and physical health along with maintaining your relationships. The 4 a.m. where isn't just an activity, it's also a mindset. In the future, I intend to share a 4 a.m. day with you all in the stream so we can participate together. Let me know in the comments if this is something you're interested in. No, the 4 a.m. is not only for just studying or personal development. There's so many things you can do during those four to five hours. I mean, you can do creative writing, um, journaling, if you're into that. You could exercise, do some yoga, personal projects that could span into painting, crafting. You can learn a new skill. You can go into planning and organizing if you're an event organizer. You can do some reading. You can do some research. You can do baking. You could be cooking. You can also do gardening, go outside during this time, take some photographs, networking or writing emails. There's so much you can do during those four hours. It doesn't have to be fit into just a simple personal development or studying for an exam or something like that. It's just allocated time for you to focus on one activity and then still have the rest of the day to just relax. And then we'll be headed to one of my favorite Jamaican chicken spots because Jamaican chicken is one of my favorite things to eat. Next to Korean barbecue, of course. And then we'll just end the day at the beach. Because in case you didn't know, I live in Turks and Caicos Islands, where we have beautiful by nature beaches, sun, sand, and sea all day. All right, y'all, that's the 4 a.m. -er. Make sure to like and make sure you subscribe to Rex Tech. Until next time, keep sharing the good news with the cloud.